Hi there. <clears throat> My uh, review today is on the movie Clash of the Titans, the remake. Uh, all I got to say about the movie, though, is that, uh, you know, I can't understand why the movie is getting so beat up as it is. I mean, I can understand that it's not a perfect movie. I mean, it does have its flaws, you know, the dialogue and stuff, st stuff like that. But overall, I thought it was kind of enjoyable. I enjoyed the battle scenes and stuff like that. I guess maybe it's just that I'm kind of, you know, I kind of always been fascinated with Greek mythology kind of stuff. But overall, I thought the movie was pretty good. I mean, I, th I thought it was okay, you know. I, I know it has problems. I know that it's not a great film. But I found enjoy some enjoyment out of it, some entertainment out of it. And um, if you go to this movie with low expectations, you'll probably might enjoy it a little bit better, but if you go to this movie, you know, like uh, any any great blockbuster that's ever been made, and you know the movies I'm talking about, and you go to those movies with those the expectations that you have, and it turns out the movie's a great movie and making a lot of money, if you go to this movie with those same kind of expectations, um, you'll be disappointed, because it, it, it you know, you take uh, Avatar, for instance, there's a lot of people that loved Avatar. You know, a lot of people thought it was a great film, and it made a lot of money at the box office and got a lot of good reviews. Um, I think that crowd, if they go and see this movie, they'll, you know, I've seen that movie, but if, if you know, you go to this movie thinking it's going to be as good as that, because, you know, like uh, Avatar was in 3D, and this movie is in 3D too. I saw it in 3D. If you go to this movie with those kind of expectations, you're going to be disappointed. Um, but if you go to the movie with low expectations, you'll probably enjoy it a little bit more um, because, uh, you know, it does have some good entertainment value to it. You know, the, the battles, some of the action scenes, is all pretty good. And it really has all the elements of Greek mythology in it, the way it's supposed to be made. You have witches, sorcerers, um, armored warriors fighting each other and fighting beasts. You have giant creatures, um, you know, uh, you just have all that stuff. And um, and uh, so that, that kind of made it, you know, it had all those elements of Greek mythology. But I think I think that the thing that, if there's one thing that disappoint, made me feel kind of disappointed with the movie, and I'm sure you probably felt the same way too, if you had seen the original Clash of the Titans, the one that came out in 1981, you would probably look at this movie and say, you know what, and I said this, you know what, I've seen it all before. I mean, you know, like for instance, the scenes where you see Perseus cutting off the head of Medusa and using it to turn the Gorgon into stone, and then there was the scene where those, those blind witches, you know, they had that little eye that they used to see around with, um, the giant scorpions, all those all those elements are very much like what was in the, in the original film. There are some happenings, though, that are different. There are some different happenings in the film. But overall, mostly, uh, the movie has pretty much the same kind of scenes and everything. But that's, that's understandable, because that's how the story of Clash of the Titans is supposed to be told. Um, I... One of the... You know, and, and also another thing, too, is... Uh, this movie is also, uh, I guess, the first time Liam Neeson and Ray Fiennes have done a movie since Schindler's List. The last movie that these two guys were in was Schindler's List. And this is kind of the first time uh, since Schindler's List that they've done a movie together, I believe. Um, <clears throat> and uh, Ray Fiennes, in this movie, he played Hades. Uh, Liam Neeson played Zeus. And Sam Worthington played uh, Perseus. And, you know, just to name a few there of, of the characters and actors. But the movie overall, I think, um, was okay. It was okay. I mean, maybe I'm kind of a, say, just saying this because I'm kind of a, a little bit of a fan of Greek mythology. Uh, I always thought it's always been kind of an interesting concept. Um, the last movie that I've seen that had something to do with Greek kind of mythology was 300, but... 300. I mean, I mean, this Clash of the Titans. I mean, they it can't even touch 300. 300 was such a great movie, but um, the movie was was good. Well, I thought it was okay. 
I know that, um, but you know, I, I you know Sam Worthing, uh, Worthington's character, um, Perseus. You know, I I thought that back in the Greek mythology, you know, era, I thought that you know the Greek, the old Greek ancient times, I thought guys had big thick heads of hair. You know, I'm talking, we're talking like Greg Brady type, you know, big huge dudes. You know, kind of like, well, kind of kind of like. <laughs> Kind of like the last Clash of the Titans, you know, big, big thing like that, you know. But, but anyways, um, um, you know, it was okay. And one thing, though, that I have to say that where the movie could probably be better than, uh, let's say, the original, is that the special effects are better. I know that's an unfair comparison, but... But it's true. Today they use CGI. Back in the old days, they used claymation animation. Uh, they, um, you know, the old movies like the old live-action movies like Sinbad, you know, and and the original Clash of the Titans and movies like that. Um, they use a lot of claymation and stuff like that. And and every time I, you know, today whenever I see those movies on TV or whatever, I can't help but think about uh, the first thing that comes into my head is Gumby, <laughs> the little claymation type stuff. <laughs> But, um, uh, you know, but one thing I'm glad they did is they, they most, they've kept, remember in the, in the original, they had that owl, they had that mechanical owl that would fly around and stuff like that and, and warn them about different things. Well, I'm glad they kept that owl out of the movie because that, that, that owl in the original I thought was so annoying. Um, however, that prop did get a cameo in this movie. There was a, there was a certain part in the movie where, Perseus is going through this chest or or box or whatever to get equipment to go on this adventure, and uh, he pulls that owl out and he asks, "What is this used for?" Um, but that was like the only only time you saw that in the film, and and there were a few people in the audience in the in the, in the theater that laughed, you know, at that part. But but uh, I'm glad they really didn't use that owl, you know, throughout the whole movie because I always thought that 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 was annoying. So. That, that was one thing they did right. But anyways, I give the movie a mild thumbs up. Mild thumbs up. And I would have to say that I give it a B-. I think that's a fair grade. I know there's a lot of critics out there that have just totally brutalized on this movie. Just totally, just, I mean, um, you know, uh, giving it a very, very hard, but I'm less harsh on it. You know, like I said, it was all right. I'm an action flick type of guy. I like Greek mythology. I like fantasy, science fiction, and all that stuff. And uh, I can I can appreciate the movie, but you have to really go with low expectations if you're going to enjoy it more. And and just you know, I don't mean to give away spoilers, but yes, you will see a lot of the same kind of scenes, similar scenes that you saw in the original. So that's my review on this movie, and uh, everybody. Take care until the next review, and I'll see everybody later. All right.